Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about spiritual power and the topic for this video is why are we here? Life seems so unfair. This is a question again that was posted on my channel and uh, I think it's a very important one. You know, sometimes you are going to be trapped into this loop of trying to understand you know, mentally, logically, what's going on on this planet. You know, the destruction, you know, why is it that uh, an animal does to have, uh, must eat another one to survive. And this kind of puts you into a um, kind of emotional dead end where you, f you really question existence. So this is a very important question that I would like to, to tackle a little bit, try to understand what's going on and especially what to do about it, you know, what to do when you feel trapped into this kind of not understanding life, you know, really, what do you do about it? So the first thing I want to say it is that why, when you question, you know, when you say, why are we here? This question, why, is a mental loop. It means that within our brains, because we are humans, you know, going in circles with the mental understanding is something uh, we can get trapped into. Why? Because we use our logical or our reasoning abilities. Now, life doesn't function with <laughs> reasoning abilities. It doesn't function with logic. It functions with force, forces, place of energies that respond to each other and eventually there is a result. But, you know, with our uh, brains, when we try to understand with our mental abilities, very often we end up trapped because within that loop, within this mental understanding, there is actually no final answer. There is only a temporary understanding of, you know, cause and effect, but the final answer comes from another type of understanding, which has to do more with a type of mystical experience of life. You know, when we try to reason with, really, with, uh, or understand life with our reasoning abilities, we are actually limiting ourselves within a certain type of mental behavior, or mental activity. Now, if you want to step beyond that type of understanding and connect with another type of mystical understanding of life, then you simply uh, you know, start practicing, for instance, a meditation technique, and you open, you know, the third eye chakra, and this allows you to vision life from a totally different perspective. You actually experience life by touch. It's the best way to, you know, to put it, but in fact, words are totally limiting to try to, exp to, to describe what happens when, when you experience life from that perspective. It means that you simply start seeing things the way they are. Instead of questioning it, and instead of reasoning life, you actually start perceiving the play of forces, the play of energies, and see the beauty behind them. And when you see that, actually the problems, the questions, uh, simply dissolve, they disappear because you accept life. You simply see the mechanics at play and you start understanding life from a totally different perspective. This is really knowledge by touch. And for those of you who have been experiencing that kind of, that kind of thing, you know, through a meditation or other type of mystical uh, realization, really awareness, it's really an opening of your vision where suddenly you start seeing a life. You know, when we live with our conscious awareness on our daily life, very often we have the feeling that we are living behind a veil. It's like there is reality, right? And we know from certain philosophies that this is just an illusion. And what is really going on is the play of forces behind the scene, what is really going on behind that. And that's what we want to start perceiving, what we start seeing. Because everything that you, that you see in manifestation is a play of energies. Everything that is solid is not just matter, physical matter, it's actually concentrated energy. And uh, once you start realizing that and seeing how these things play together, then all these questions, all these why, actually suddenly, naturally disappear because you step beyond the reasoning mind. You start seeing life from another perspective. I'm going to tell you more about levels of consciousness and level of levels of awareness because this has to do with levels of awareness or planes of consciousness um, in another video. But for now, remember that your reasoning ability is a limited tool when it comes to understanding life. That's all what I can see. And uh, there is, of course, much more to say about that, but that's it for now. You take care, and have a great day. Bye-bye.